So here we are then back with FIFA 22 and part four of my Road to Glory career mode with Hartlepool United. Thank you for the incredible support so far. Last time out uh, was a bit of a disaster. I'd uh, lost the save and had to play through it all again. So it was all a bit rushed really. So I do apologize about that. Hopefully today will be a lot better. We will try and get through the rest of August. So plenty of highlights for you to enjoy today. We'll see if we can make any more signings, although, you know, the budget isn't isn't great, 684k. We can switcheroo that a little bit, um, but, you know, it doesn't give us massive amounts of wages. Uh, you know, you're looking at maximum probably giving somebody 10 grand a week, so maybe we look at the, the, the free agents again. Um, but, yeah, hopefully... Uh, we can do some business, we can see what happens, but uh, first of all, we've got to, to play Barrow and hopefully have an improved performance after last time. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. I'll tell you what, Stuart, this ought to be special. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here we go then. We are underway in the first match of today's episode. Barrow versus Hartlepool. Looking for a much stronger performance than we had uh, last time out uh, against Peterborough, of course. 9-3 that uh, result ended up. That was ridiculous. Uh, but here we go. Here's Francis Angol. Straight away with a cross into the middle. And it's cleared away. Headed down again. And just need to defend more as a unit today, I think. It, you know, we played a bit of a weaker squad, and I think it definitely showed against Peter Brett. That's a poor pass from Barrow. Line, but uh, look at uh, have an improved performance today. Well, look at this. Here's Luke Molyneux. He turns, he shoots, but it's a block. He just ran maybe a little bit too far there. David Ferguson now running in. Cuts inside. It's David Ferguson. Good save. Good ball through for Barrow. Chance early on. Great save from Mitchell. Well, look at this. There so many of them forward. But we managed to get that away. I mean, I don't know where any of our defenders were. But there were three or four of them in the in our box. But we're okay. Nice little ball through to Ogle here. This could be a chance. We're swarming the box. Oh, but it wasn't a good cross. Is Neil Featherston, the captain, pushes into the box. Good shot. Oh, just wide. That was so close. Good ball. Good touch. Here's Luke Molyneux. And it's 1-0. Excellent ball through. Excellent movement. And we're 1-0 up in this match against Barrow. That was well, well worked. And uh, a good problem solved. Nice little ball through from the captain there. Luke Molyneux was there. And a great finish. And it's 1-0. Oh, well, that was pathetic. What on earth was the goalkeeper doing there? I thought we'd held them off well enough there, just keeping them outside of the area. But look at this. Oh, it was a deflection, and maybe that's what took it in. But Barrow have equalised, and that is such a shame, because I feel like we have been the better team so far. Oh, what a ball. Oh, nearly going like through to Olamola there. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, once again, they just slip through. Have a look at this. Oh, well, it's 2-1 Barrow, and I feel, feel like that's very unlucky. It's where you're thankful there's not a National League on this game. We can't be relegated. Come Barrow again. No get it away clearance. just about though. Oh, nearly a great goal for Barrow there. Chance. Oh, what a save. What a save that is from Mitchell. Still alive though. And here's Olamola. It's a good ball through once again to Luke Molyneux. Great save. 
Well, Great save. I thought that was going to be the moment. Well, here we go. Luke Molyneux again. Luke Molyneux, yes! It's 2 all. Excellent goal for him. And what a game he's had. He's been getting into those good positions. And wow, what a goal it is. And what a big goal it could be for us. Oh, what a goal for Barrow. And right at the end, that is devastating. It was a great cross into the middle. I thought Mitchell had got enough onto it, but it came off the post and went in. Well, that is gutting because we've lost it right at the death here. Unless we can get a late goal here. Three minutes. Well, here we go. We're running down this right-hand side. Can we get the cross in? Yes, we can. Header, and it's in! It's in! Oh, well. I wasn't expecting to get that back. But there we go. Look at the celebrations. It's 3 all. What a fantastic header. Wow. That was a brilliant cross from well, Al Holt. Look at this. Pinpoint the accuracy to the back of the, cro the, 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 the box. And the header down. So Excellent goal, goal from Francis Angal. Well, Angal, sorry. And now it's 3 all. Can we hang on to what would turn out to be a pretty good point? Yes, we can. 3-3 three, three in the opening match. Here we go, then. Second match of the episode. Sutton United versus Hartlepool. And I'd like to see us take that momentum from drawing that last match to this match now. That was a poor pass. Well, here's Varga, he's cut inside, he shoots, and that was straight at the goalkeeper. That should have been 1-0. Oh, 1-0, I mean that. Pathetic defending once again. Oh, it's Olamola through, Olamola scores. Olamola again, 2-1. Excellent cross from Sturry. And Olamola scores, and all of a sudden, it, the match has turned round. We were 1-0 down, now we're 2-1 up. It was an excellent run from Sterry on the right-hand side. Brilliant cross, and Olamola was there. And there's another brilliant goal for him this season. Typical. Absolutely typical. It was a decent cross. But there you go, header in. It's 2-2. Well, here's Varga. Varga shoots. Great save. Great save. Well, it's Varga. He cuts inside. He shoots. Oh, just wide. Just wide. It was a beautiful run. Once again, we whip it in. Header over the bar. Oh, for goodness sake. Ugh. Well, full time, and we lose the match 3-2, an absolute disaster once again. Well, a quick sim, and another similar result, 3-2 to Walsall. This isn't good. It is a big moment, this. It's got to be. It's all of all that. Yes! 1-0! Woohoo! We might actually win a match. Excellent goal from Ola Mola. We jumped in. We seen it. it was a great chance. We jumped in from the quick save. And look at this. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic finish. And Ola Mola is a ledge. Well, here we are once again. We've jumped, jumped in. Oh, it's off the post. Well, I think it was offside. But we're very close now. And there it is, full time. And we actually win our first match again. Well, we've just signed Ricky J. Jones from uh, Peter Bryan United. Somebody we were looking to sign in episode one. Um, and we've signed him for £600,000. I think that is a cracking signing for us. Uh, he's only on £800 a week as well. Uh, I'm really, really happy with that, actually. I think that's a that's a cracking signing. And, and he can slot straight in for Olamola up top. And I know, you know, Olamola is a good player, but I don't think he's quite as good 
as uh, Ricky J. Jones is. Um, where is Ricky J. Jones? There he is. He is uh, 61 rated, but look at that pace, 92 pace. Yeah, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Olamola, very good player. Don't get me wrong, but I think, I think, you know, he can be uh, a top player, J Ricky J. Jones. So that's uh, what we're going for. Well, there we go. Final game of the episode. Uh, one I jumped in uh, in the last five minutes. Uh, we draw one all with Tranmere Rovers. And uh, all, overall, it's been a, a pretty poor start to the season. But I think, you know, we are starting to get into our, our rhythm a little bit. Okay, we're, we're 21st in the league. But I think, uh, oh, of course, League 2 is a very close league. A couple of wins and, and all of a sudden we're into the top half. So... I don't think we need to worry too much at the moment. I think we just need to try and make sure that we're uh, that we're we're pushing forward. We've got Ricky J Jones in the squad now, which I'm really excited about. Really pacey strike, a top quality young gun, and I'm hoping that he can uh, be a really positive influence on our season. But that's where we'll leave it for today. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more FIFA 22 videos, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.